where data and services are resided in massively scalable data centers for cloud. And these clouds can be accessed by any connected device via internet. However, the most popular definition of cloud computing is given by an IT firm named Forrester. Forrester defines cloud computing as a pool of abstracted, highly scalable, managed computing infrastructure capable of hosting end customer applications and most importantly, it is built by consumption. In order to understand this definition, we have to look at this figure. As I have just said, cloud computing consists of a pool of systems. These systems are actually interconnected. Now, they form the cloud and this cloud provides the infrastructure for data, application, storage and various other features. And the good news is this cloud can be accessed by any connecting device, be it mobile app, browser based app, so on and so forth. But we require medium, that is internet. So to put it simply, cloud computing is nothing but internet computing. Internet is usually visualized as cloud, computing is done to internet, hence the term cloud computing. Now moving to the next part, that is telecoms. If you guys remember, I have talked extensively about this subject in my previous seminar, Mobile Virtual Network Operator. So I am not once again going to employ a large part of my time explaining about the importance and brilliance of telecom. However, I would just like to give a brief highlight about what actually telecommunication means. Telecommunication has been one of the most talked about subjects of the past decade. Telecommunication is often defined as transferring of information over longer distances for the purpose of communication. Today, the society and environment has changed and telecommunication has been one of the most important factor for the growth of human society and culture. Without telecommunication, much of the things would not have been possible and the world would not have been the place it is today. In the current era, many technologies of telecommunication have evolved like UMTS, 3G, 4G, long-term evolution providing high-speed data connectivity. The importance of telecommunication is going to increase day in and day out. Now coming to the central part of why I have discussed this presentation so far, let us now talk the brass facts. Agree that cloud computing provides scalability. Agree that cloud computing provides great agility and responsiveness. Agree that cloud computing is very flexible. But what next? Agree that cloud computing is reliable. Agree that cloud computing supports multi-sharing. But what next? Okay, I agree with the help of cloud computing, we can scale our business a thousand times more users. I agree with the help of cloud computing, we could monitor every single user click and every single user interaction. I agree with the help of cloud computing, we could provide better recommendation systems. But what next? Oh, yes. I agree with the help of cloud computing, we could provide better price plan choices. I agree with the help of cloud computing, we could stimulate a case without any glitches. But what next? What next, boss? I agree that with the help of cloud computing, we have enormous of applications. I agree with the help of cloud computing, there are many consumer applications. I agree cloud computing is used in laptop and gaming industry, but still. What, what next? next? I agree that with the help of cloud computing, we can have large amount of data stored. I agree that cloud computing is abundantly used in financial services, but still. What, what next? next? Now, coming to the telecom side, fine telecommunication is fascinating. Fine telecommunication is the first phase industry. Fine telecommunication influences almost every aspect of our life. But what next? <laughs> Find that telecommunication brings its wide geographical urge of growth. Find that with the help of telecommunication, our life is simple, easy and relaxed. What, what next? Hard. Find that with the help of telecommunication, we have a conference. Find that telecommunication provides us calling. Find that with the help of telecommunication, we get aware of all the happenings taking place around us. But what next? Find that with the help of telecommunication there is money stability. Find that with the help of telecommunication there is market stability. But still, boss, what happens? Find that with the help of telecommunication we can do instant booking from the mobile. Find that with the help of telecommunication we can have instant transactions from the mobile. Find telecommunication provides and commerce, but still, what, what, what next, boss? Okay, find that telecommunication boosts the economy of the country. Find telecommunication provides enormous revenues throughout the world, but still, the big question remains wide and clear, boss, what is next? Fabulous. The next big thing is, it is the proliferation, it is the convolution, it is the engagement, it is the meshing, it is the combination and engagement of telecom and cloud and that, that is what we call a telecom cloud. Now, mobile network operators of today will evolve to become the cloud providers of tomorrow. Network operators of today have an inherent advantage as they have all the required infrastructure like big towers, MSCs, BTS, BSCs, so on and so forth in order to compete tomorrow. 
So tomorrow, when there is going to be evolution of telecom infrastructure, there will also be evolution among consumers from being the users of internet to the content creators. So basically, Telecom Cloud is a telecommunication company that has shifted a significant part of its business in order to devote resources for providing cloud computing services. The shift to cloud infrastructure will help the telecom firms in order to repurpose underutilized network capabilities and also in order to boost their new business time. So basically, there are two very important reasons for meshing telecom and IT together. Number one is that in order to reap all the benefits of cloud computing for IT optimization, that is high speed, great security, low cost, and second is that in order to exploit new business opportunities as I just said. Now coming to the architecture. Now this is basically the architecture of telecom cloud. At the bottom lies the underlying network infrastructure. This network infrastructure is nothing but group of computers having internet which are interconnected. These are then linked to a telecommunication architecture. The starting three layers, that is software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service, these three together constitute the cloud computing architecture. In Telecom Cloud, we have an additional layer that is CAS communication as a service. This communication as a service which will include features like call control, call routing, messaging, faxing, so on, and so forth. It also addresses some of our major concerns like security and data breach. Infrastructure as a service will provide or include all the storage operations, the support operations, the hardware and network parts. Platform as a service basically provides a computing platform that is it deploys, it runs, it manages all the applications. Software as a service is also known as software on demand. It basically deals with consumer relationship management and content management. So these four layers along with the underlying network infrastructure forms the telecom cloud architecture and with the help of these layers we can read all the services provided by cloud computing that includes the services of information as well as the communication service. Now coming to the working, as I've just said that the three things that provide consumer capability include SaaS, PaaS and IAS. Now in addition to this, the network operator will provide connectivity to cloud landscape that is a cloud connectivity. Suppose I am having a consumer and she wants to use an application called email. So in a sense, the software as a service will enable this consumer to actually run the user provider applications with the help of cloud connectivity. And with PaaS, the consumer can deploy and can create applications in cloud connectivity. And infrastructure as a service basically allows the consumer to access storage and processing and various other network features. Now, coming to the opportunities. Literally speaking, the opportunities of telecom cloud can be summed up in one word. Fabulous, yeah. The telecom cloud provides fabulous set of opportunities with S stands of flexibility. Why it is flexible? Because it uses virtualization and other technologies. Aggregation, more users, more diverse users, more users in different places means that the computing load is spread out say, by increasing the utilization. Billing is another important feature that will benefit the telecom firms greatly. It is going to sound sweet music to telecom firms, be it old or new or large or small. Ultimate performance speed is obtained because all the operation is done at the server itself. Launch a rich set of services, which means that we will have great traffic, thereby implying that there will be great revenues. It offers security, storage, and various other managed services. Urgent economy of scale. Why? Because it is very cheap in cost and provides fantastic level of sophistication. However, it has some risk involved with it. Some of the major risks include security and data breach. Another risk is lock-in. That is, we will not have any portability to move from one cloud provider to another cloud provider. Also, there will be additional investment and additional workload. These were some of the risks. Now coming to the impacts, the impact of cloud computing on telecom side. According to business and technology literature, we can sum up the impacts in three categories, strategical alliance, value chain, and operating model. Now, forming strategical alliance with cloud provider will help the telecom firm in order to cooperate and create a win-win working model to portfolio of managed services. This will help them to reach out to more customers with great satisfaction. Value chain basically means chain of activities within an organization. So the value chain of telecom cloud basically means value added services which the telecom cloud has to offer. Operating model basically implies that a 
adoption of cloud computing will affect the infrastructure, it will affect the strategy, and as well as it will affect the operation. There will be low cost because of operational excellence and economy of scale. See, time will not permit me to explain in detail various other service benefits. However, I would like to name some of the most prominent companies that are using Medicom Cloud. Number one, seven level wireless solutions. Two, A Star Mobile. Three, Big Digital. Four, Boost Mobile. Five, Cell Higher. Six, Communicate System. Seven, Force Zone. Eight, Game Talk. Nine, Digital. Ten, Isis. Eleven, Public Telecom. Twelve, People Telecom. Thirteen, Telecom Plus. Fourteen, Phone Plus. Fifteen, Mitel. Sixteen, Slipton. Seventeen, Telecom PKR. Eighteen, Telogic. Nineteen, Telemo. Twenty, Buy Motors. Twenty one, CBP Mobile. Twenty two, Zoro Mobile. Twenty three, Simple Mobile. Twenty four, Shaka Mobile. Twenty five, Zoom Mobile. Twenty six, Logos Mobile. Twenty seven, Doyo Mobile. Japan, 28 Virgin Mobiles of USA, 29 DNA Mobiles of Finland, 30 Firefly Mobiles of Netherlands, 31 Atama Technologies, 32 Amazon Web Services, 33 Amazon Cloud Services, 34 ADIT, 35 British Telecom, 36 Candle Rogers, 37 Ericsson, 38 Jukasen, 39 Nautil, 40 Telo, 41 Telecom Asia, 42 Telecom Malaysia, 43 Telecom Korea, 44 Telecom Italia, 45 Sabitel, 46 Verizon. 47 team mobiles, 48 orange mobiles of Austria, 49 Bahrain mobiles of Zayn, 50 Saudi telecom company STC, I can go on and on. Mashallah, mashallah. Finally, to the conclusion. Let's conclude this topic by means of a very short and interesting story. Once upon a time, there lived a man, an old man, an old rich man, an old rich businessman. This particular man was a complete professional, a great tycoon, mastering a great fortune. Now, the other side of the story is, he had a son. Like father, like son, the son was also very talented, rich kid. But there is a contrast. <coughs> the business of father is different from that of his son. So one fine day, father called his son and said, Look, my dear son, you are doing remarkably well. You are doing excellent. Your business is reaching new heights day in and day out. But let me give you a suggestion which you can't refuse. The son was curious and asked, what is that for? The father replied that, look, I'm an old man, I'm an experienced fellow. Use my company's opportunities, use my security features, use all the services my company has to provide in your company, and mark my words, your company will reach the sky. The son readily agreed to his father's word, and as a token of appreciation, as a token of gratitude, he combined the name of his company with his dad's company. The same is the case with Telecom Cloud. Here the rich old father is cloud computing, who is giving its services, its experience, and all the security features and opportunities to the son's company that is telecommunication. And in return, as a token of gratitude, the son is combining the name of its father company that is cloud in its company that is telecom, hence the name Telecom Cloud. Now, before I go to the question and answer, there are a few people whom I need to thank because without their help and guidance, this seminar would not have been possible. First and foremost, I would like to thank Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without his guidance and will, nothing in the world is possible. My heartfelt thanks goes to Sophie Pawan. She is the first person who suggested me this wonderful topic. My thanks also goes to Riven Cohen for contributing my Gmail account with some of the relevant data. My sincere thanks goes to this interesting person, Romain Watchett, who works in Telecom Paris, France. When I first saw his Twitter account, I was a bit puzzled and confused because what I can found is all the tweets were in French language. So I played a smart trick. I used Google Translator and asked my question about what is the progress of Telecom Cloud in France. So here was his response. A progress of any Telecom Cloud, cheap box party from call, one to pass last call. My society has raised and so we sold, sold you deplore, love to take all, love to take the score, we are made to take you. Well, jokes apart, that was French where we tried to explain that telecom cloud is going to be all the rage, however it is different from unified communication. Basically, in unified communication, we have communication between real time and not real time, while we're coming to the telecom cloud, the telecommunication basically relies on cloud infrastructure. My utmost thanks goes to my brothers and father of the Shamim, who works in the Saudi Telecom company as a BNN and brand board engineer. When I was struggling to find data on this seminar report, because there was not much data available on the net, while standing, I just randomly asked my brother, Bro, do you have any idea about Telecom Cloud? He was confused and said, What do you mean I have any idea? I am currently working on 4G ATT that runs on Cisco Cloud, that is nothing but Telecom Cloud. 
I just laughed at myself because a uh, Urdu proverbial come to my mind uh, that Babal me narsa hai shehar mein thora. So I asked him curiously why he didn't inform me earlier that he used to work on Telecom Club. So he candidly replied, he never asked me, so I have never told you. Well, nevertheless, he was a great help. He provided me some excellent data, and he was the first person who was unable to, who was able to explain me actually how the functionality of what Telecom Club works. Thank you very much and have a memorable day ahead.